Hello, this is Bunting, and yes, this is a mic in a cup. And today we will be doing some Tipper style sound design in Vital. Let's play the track. <laughs> So I'm going to go over what's happening in these patches generally, and then I'll go back and recreate a bass just like them. So as you see, the B for the sound comes from the sine wave in addition to phasers being randomized. In addition to that phaser, we have, okay, well, there's, that was supposed to be on this phaser. I don't know why it was off and formants going on, all being randomized and one of them being plucked, topped with some chorus and compression. So before my computer self-destructs recording all this with all these vital patches, let me just go and delete them all, while also talking about why vital is cooler than serum for these kind of bases. So vital has multiple phasers, many many more than serum and more filter options than serum and it also has nice formants which is all welcome for this tippery stuff and most importantly it has the random feature which makes things crazy without having to draw in automation forever okay so here's our saw wave and immediately we're turning on this filter here and going to phaser turning this blend option up which is awesome like look at that it's got less peaks and it's got more. And for that plucky squelchiness, we're using nothing other than envelope 2 with the decay down a bit, sustain all the way down, and release all the way down, and attack all the way down. And we're throwing this on the cutoff. Turning that down. Turning this blend up. Sounds kind of monotonous now, but we're going to add this note filter on. And also this random. As you see, it's kind of all wavy for right now, and we don't want that. We want more of a jumpy random, so we're turning this on sample and hold. cool I think the next thing is going into this filter option under effects turning it on and adding a formant now that cuts out much of the beef from the sound so we're going to turn the mix down and also turn the peak down so it's not crazy overwhelming and we're gonna randomize the hell out of this as well want it more high end. And we're going to be adding this phaser, turning it to freeze so it's not going anywhere, and offset down so it's not stereo. And we're going to also add this plucky envelope to the center. And you can really mess with the just, just the feedback point to create very different tones. Just awesome stuff. Next thing is this chorus to make it a little, little weird and also to add some stereo. So let's turn this cutoff down. I only want it on the high end. Whoops, cutoff up, I mean. And the spread down. And we're going to need this feedback down and this mix down. And last thing last, or first things first, last thing, you, you get it. 
is this multiband compressor with the attack up and the volume down. And that's pretty dang tippery if you ask me. Now for some variation, let's just duplicate this and take the second half of this little melody and tweak the patch. So we're going to mess with the filter position. Maybe change this format. And for the biggest change, let's introduce an FM. So enable second oscillator, turn the level down, and the pitch up 12 in octave. And on the first oscillator, we're going to select FM oscillator 2. And let's just pick a random wavetable. I think that sounds cool to me. Let's play them together. Okay, now for a little transition sweep, which Tipper likes to use. Let's duplicate another patch, but this time we're going to add some pitch bend and cutoff automation. Let's actually just initialize enable our filter and we're going to drag this blend to the center and change this to 24 decibels and if you see changing this cutoff gives you some awesome squelch effects great for tippery transitions and here I'm just automating the cutoff and the next thing is we're going to automate the pitch here Just dragging that around. Let's draw it in. And also under effects, let's put on our multiband compressor. Maybe not. Maybe single band compressor. Maybe reverb? No. Maybe delay? I don't know. If you want, sure, go, go off. For some added variation, let's mess with this cutoff frequency. similar thing here except with this phaser. Now that is tippery. So for further variations on this you can really mess with the wavetables, add some FM, mess with your formant. Hey, put another phaser here. That might make it different and cool, right? Mess with different filters, with different mixes. How about a, another band pass with the mix down? Let's turn the resonance up. Not that high. But in the end, the key to these tipper bases is crazy filter effects. All the wavetable stuff and FM stuff comes secondary. 
and mess with envelopes. So like instead of maybe a plucky, maybe like a. That kind of thing. And instead of randomizing, you can really just automate the hell out of it. Vital just makes it easy to get some crazy, like, vocally variations with this sample and hold feature. And that honestly about covers it. So, hope you learned something. Hope you were educated and inspired by this video. If you were, hit the like button and be sure to comment your suggestions for future videos and ask any questions you might have. And if you want to see more of this, subscribe and also hit that bell icon so you are notified. That about covers it. This is Bunting. Peace out.